It's one thing to fill your brain with facts. It's quite another thing, though, to remember them. So how do we do it? Well, memorising something is rather like what happens when we set up a line of dominoes. When we commit a fact to memory, we create a neural pathway to it, a route of connecting brain cells to wherever that memory is stored in our brain. And to retrieve those facts, all we have to do is to trigger the same pathway back to them. It sounds easy. And for some people, at least, it really is. This is Andy Bell. In 2002, he was crowned world memory champion. But just how good is he? Today, we've set him a test. He's going to try to recall the exact position of every single card in 10 whole decks. That's 520 cards that have been shuffled by us. And he's only got 20 minutes to look at them. Andy has developed a special technique which allows him to remember literally thousands of items in rapid succession. The 20 minutes are up. Can Andy remember the position of the cards our referee selects at random? So, deck one, the very first card you saw. First card was the six of spades. Same deck, card number 23. Uh, the 23rd card was the Queen of Hearts. Deck 2, card number 27. Ten of Diamonds. No matter how many cards we fired at him... That was the King of Diamonds. And he remembered them perfectly. 48th card was the... Ace of Hearts. In fact, Andy is able to recall all 520 cards. Jack of Clubs. Every one correct and in the right order. Queen of Spades. So, what's his secret? Before he even sits down with a deck of cards, Andy uses his memory technique. He takes a walk round London, visiting a series of landmarks in a particular order. Number one might be the Houses of Parliament. And number two, Westminster Bridge. He walks the route several times to establish it in his mind. But that's just the first stage. The second is putting his imagination to work. When I memorise a deck of cards, I turn each card into a picture, and this is a colourful animal or object that I've learnt to associate with that particular card. The jack of clubs becomes a little bear. The nine of diamonds, a saw. And the two of spades, a pineapple. Then Andy puts the two stages together. In his mind, he imagines walking around London on his route. And when he passes the Houses of Parliament, he imagines the little bear with the saw and pineapple. Andy creates a journey in his mind with this cast of characters. As a child, I had conventionally good memory. But once you learn a technique, like the location method I use. It takes everything beyond what you could possibly do naturally. Scientists have discovered our mind is better at remembering the route between locations than it is at remembering unconnected facts and figures. I think I have the same mental equipment as everybody else, so it's something anybody can do. 